Welcome to Koyasan in Japan, and I'm with the Kabbalah Society tour to look at Shinto in Kabbalah, uh, led by Miko Shileski and Hiromi Matsumoto, who have been teaching us all sorts of correlations between Shinto and Kabbalah, which I think is lovely because it, it shows this great idea of one metaphysical truth underlying all religions. And I always knew about uh, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity being linked at the root, but Shinto all obviously has huge connotations with this great metaphysical teaching, and it came independently to the people of Japan. For example, they have three pillars, the idea of moon, sun, and wind. They've got ten divine treasures, which is the idea of the ten sephirot, and also four souls, one spirit, and the souls correspond pretty nearly to the four worlds of Jacob's Ladder, or the four levels of earth, water, air, and fire. What I love also about Shinto, which the other faiths have had, and in their orthodox version still have, is the idea of cleansing. Cleansing of the soul, cleansing of the ego, cleansing of the spirit. Not as in the way of saying, oh no, I have sinned, I have sinned, I am wicked, I am evil, but just, I want to be clean, I want to be clean so that I can move towards enlightenment. And at all the shrines, you have these wonderful ideas of cleansing. You cleanse your left hand, a left is on YouTube, your right hand, and then wonderfully clean out the mouth. I just love that idea of returning always to the cleansing that gets back to the real you. And also in Shinto, the idea of the kami, which is the local god, the nature god, but it also builds up on level after level to the spirit of kami and the great kami. And also, we are here to become kami. It's the same idea of the Christ consciousness within.